The beverage software can be started by pressing the Start button and looking for the Bev01 application. Let's go through the setup first. The setup is located on the left side. Let's click on the configuration link. This is where you enter in your sales tax code, starting invoice number or receipt numbers, store number. Also, you can enter in additional cashiers here by pressing the cashiers button. Enter them in it one at a time and then press the OK button to save them. Likewise, you can enter in up to 10 different item codes for the returns, such as um, deposit returns that their customers provide. Additional videos can be seen by selecting the drop down and then pressing the play button. Press OK when you're done with your settings. The second thing is the company name. The company name can be entered by pressing this link and then entering that in. That will be shown on your receipts. We'll go over import lists later in a separate video. The backup and restore um, are done automatically. Um, you can just press this button and do a backup if you want to do a backup immediately. Otherwise, there's a job that runs on your PC that will back up once a day. Under reports, you can press the end of day button, set a date range, and then press OK. This will show the date range detail listing of all the items sold and then below that it will give a summary of all your returns and deposits or negative amounts here and then a total grand total on the bottom of all the sales all the returns and then your grand total difference data you will have three uh, choices here one is the sales history which shows every item that was sold and you can automatically group by those items by dragging these column headers and dropping them into the um, field area here to get totals and then print them out if you choose to or go directly to Excel. Likewise, um, if you want to see your customer list just press that. Again, everything can be exported to Excel if you want it to be. Item list, same thing. To enter in items, simply select a cashier first there's a customer choice here if you want to also, also enter in for a specific customer, but then just select those items. To change quantity, just highlight any row, press plus or minus on the quantity. If you want to do returns, you can also do a change quantity here and enter in larger amounts press enter. Notice that the quantity is updated. If you want to remove an item, just highlight and hit remove. If you want to return an item, just highlight it and hit return item. Notice that it goes negative. Uh, likewise, if you want to bring it back, just hit sell item and then it goes positive. And that's about it. And then when you're ready, you either hit save only or save and print. If you hit save and print, you get a receipt out and then you can print it. If you hit save only, it goes directly to the database and adds a new one. Thank you.